Hi, I'm Engineer Albert A. Capulong. Uh, on this video, I will demonstrate how to perform concrete slump test. So, yung mga material na kailangan natin for this test ay the slump cone with 4 inches diameter on top, uh, 8 inches diameter on bottom, and with 12 inches height, damping rod with 24 inches length and 16 mm diameter and the ruler with at least 12 inches length concrete mixture and a towel Una natin gagawin, ilalagay natin ang slump cone sa flat surface dapat smooth siya, rigid and non-absorbent Okay, yung next natin gagawin ay fill the mold with concrete mix So, ipipil natin yung mold in 3 layers So, yung per layer dapat approximate 1 third ng volume nung mold or ng cone. So, lagay natin yung first layer. Pag ilagay nung first layer, gamitin natin yung tamping rod and then stamp natin siya ng 25 times. So next, ilagay natin yung second layer. So, pagkalagay ng second layer, gamitin ulit natin yung tamping rod and stamp ulit natin siya ng 25 times. Okay, next, yung final and third layer naman. Gamitin ulit natin yung damping rod and stamp again ng 25 times. Okay, next step. Use the rod to remove the excess concrete on the top of the mold. Okay, unti-unti natin i-lip yung slump cone. So, ilagay natin yung slump cone inverted sa tabi ng sample. And, kunin natin yung pumping rod. Lagay natin sa babaw nung tampo. So, next, gagamitin natin yung ruler para ma-measure natin yung slump. Measure the difference and that's the result of our concrete slump test. Figure shows the different slump result that may occur during the test. True slump is a slump normally used in construction. The zero slump is a dry mixture that indicates a very low water cement ratio in mixture. This is typically accepted in road construction. The collapsed slump is a completely collapsed mixture that indicates too wet mixture or high workability mixture. This kind of slump is not acceptable in the construction. The last one is shear slump. If the top portion half slide of mixture is slip sideways, it is called shear slump. If the result appeared in the test result, test should be repeated.